Well folks, it is rainy out here. The bees are flying. As you can see, they're carrying out the dead. The overwintered dead. So it's happening in most of my hives here. And I see almost all my hives have bees flying. Which, right now, it's probably about 55 degrees. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So let me just move my camera here and I'll show you some more. Just a second. So I moved the camera. As you can see, they're moving the dead out of that one kind of orange one over there. And there's others flying around the white and gray. I'm just pretty excited about actually seeing my bees making it through the winter. The next couple of days it's going to get a little warmer. After rain I'll check that all my bees have something left of their winter stores. If not, then I'll probably add some sugar or maybe even some pollen patties. Whatever they need. I'm really excited about having a lot of hives here that are flying. And hopefully you won't have any more losses. Maybe in the background you can see even a few bees on that one in between the two hives. So, yeah, I'm not quite as excited as I was this morning when I got out there and it, it was warm for the first time in some time. Yeah, I don't like that six degree weather. I, I really prefer the 72. <laughs> I was raised in Southern California and Southern Florida and North Carolina here. Uh, we only get a little bit of snow each year. This year so far we've only got a couple of flurries. Not very many at all. But winter's not over. And it could very well be that we get some more. Could get three or four, five, six, seven, eight inches. I saw 18 inches once in May. So usually by the February the 15th, winter's pretty much over though. Days are in the 60s and if you get anything below freezing it'll be just for a few minutes or a few hours overnight and uh, yeah I'm a little concerned now we'll have all this warm weather and then if we get a freeze or something after the red maples have come out then that might be a bit of a problem because I don't want those maples dropping all their little flowers before they're ready before we have our honey flow on well yeah I'm really excited about this I'm seeing almost every one, and I've probably got some that I just haven't watched long enough to see the bees coming out. One of the things I'll need to do is scrape off those bees that are inside that are dead, that they just can't get through, you know, because the weather's going to be kind of crazy in the next few days. It's supposed to get an inch and a half of rain a couple days, I think, so that'd be pretty wet, maybe for the next three days. Right now, it's dripping. You may even hear it hitting my umbrella. I did decide I better bring the umbrella out here just in case. And right now it's starting to pick up. So I guess I'm going to go back in the house. Uh, I see Charlie here. Maybe we can get him. I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Might be a little jittery here. I've got a long telescopic lens on here. I did want to add on some more pictures of my bees flying. Yeah, carrying out the dead, getting rid of them. Quite a few dead ones over here that they've taken out. I've covered just about every one. Those two I don't see anything going in and out of. But there's one. Yeah, they're still carrying them out there. There we go. Now, so there's been a buildup of bees over to winter. And they carry them out on the first warm day. That's what's going on here.